check it out guys I just recorded an intro and I want to say a 10 to 15 minute conversation with myself and it was time warped so it had no words it just sped up from when I recorded the intro to why I was talking all the way to this job site to this bit I'm doing in fast motion in high speed so I gotta record the whole video again it's kinda funny I'll throw it in as a blooper but I think that's funny so what's up everybody my name is Andrew this is Drew's Views this is episode 2 of Truck Talk um, we talk about trucks and we also talk about other things cause we are in the truck so hence Truck Talk but today this video we're gonna talk about my 2020 Ford Raptor, um, how expensive it was, um, how much I ended up paying, the warranties, monthly payments, and the expenses for this truck. Um, we'll go over the three biggest expenses I have for this truck right now, um, or that kind of are what to expect when you have a truck like this. So let's just get into this video. I'm gonna go fit this roof real quick and then I will be right back. So check it out. So I kind of told you what we're gonna break down and all that stuff. So we'll start off with the price of the truck and the price of my truck was, I believe $72,000. purchasing the truck with 21,000 miles made some change for $72,000 uh, what it was listed for now taxes licensing and all that stuff as well as I did buy two warranties with it the maintenance warranty and I also bought the extended warranty for it as well as a 125,000 mile extended warranty or 150,000 mile extended warranty cover the engine and pretty much all those compartments the maintenance warranty covers oil changes oil filters brakes and all that good stuff um, I always buy those with my trucks just to be on the safe side you never know um, I think the warranties of maintenance and the extended were about one the maintenance was about 2500 and then the extended 150 thousand mile warranty was about 2800 maybe 3000 so it didn't add too much on top of the total purchase of the truck so I ended up purchasing the truck for 81 <clears throat> or 82 um, and then I also got some discounts they lowered the price as well after I saw that price I said give me a better deal um, they did I think they dropped it a couple grand and then I traded in my Nissan Titan as well I'll throw a picture of it on the screen for you traded that in and we were we had some positive equity into that um, so they gave us over what we owed on it so then that went down on it as well it was around like 1500 bucks or 2000 bucks so then I ended up put I put down was it 1500 yeah I think 1500 um, and then I ended up putting down an extra six thousand dollars as well so seventy five hundred dollars down we'll just say seventy five hundred seventy five hundred dollars down I think it came out to 82 or 83 um, so you minus that was 7500 um, so I, I ended up purchasing the truck for I think 75 um, 75 76 um, which is pretty cool my interest rate was 2.6 percent um, so yeah now I only I finance for six years always because at the end of the three-year mark the truck I always trade in is it's a wash which I break even with it or I make money in some cases now this truck I didn't really care because this is my dream truck so and it's a personal truck for me for myself um, so I didn't I could probably keep this for a while just depending on how it goes um, so yeah that's that's what I paid for it and the warranty the cost of the warranty and all that stuff and then I my monthly payments for this truck are one thousand 
$226 and some change each month I pay for this truck. Now, some may say, damn, that's a lot of fucking money. Some may say, hey, that's about right. Some may say, hey, you, you got it for cheap. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still $1,200 and $1,226. So it's still a chunk of change. You know what I mean? Um, this is my fifth truck that I've bought. So I'm not new to buying a truck. Um, I just got what I wanted and that was it. Wasn't too much thinking into it. So yeah, I don't mind it too much. It's part of life, truck I want. It's paid for itself tenfold. I have so much fun in this thing. Um, as you can tell, I got the LP4s right there on the front, as you can see as I'm driving. Um, that's an expense that I put on the truck. I'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, so that's how much I pay, how much the truck was worth, the warranties I got. So let's cover the expenses for this truck each we'll go expenses for each month um expenses the add-ons i have done for this truck and put on this truck and we'll cover that right now so monthly for this truck for my monthly payment is 1226 um so that's a reoccurring cost every month um now a cost that is also pretty harsh is gas living here in california um, with a 36 gallon tank it gets pretty pricey no matter where you go i gotta end this line no matter where we go where i go to fill up minimum from a quarter tank and up right now i have a quarter tank right now minimum it's between 120 dollars to 150 dollars every time i fill up from a quarter now i try not let to get it to a quarter but I'm busy, I gotta sell, so I just can't. Sometimes I'm running late, sometimes I'm running early, so I'm able to go get some gas. In this case, I am running on schedule, so I have 132 miles until I'm empty. So I am gonna go ahead and finish these appointments and then go get gas. So that's kind of one of the expenses. Um, so I fill up probably once a week. So I'll just average it out of 130 bucks a week. Some days it's less, or some weeks it's less, some weeks it's more. Um, just depending if I have this truck and my dad and I are both selling, which we are, or if it's just him and I selling, we go together sometimes. So then it, it ends up not being as much. Um, I gotta park over here. So it, it ends up not being as much gas because this truck just sits at the casa. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, that's another big expense. So if you break that down, we'll just say $130 a week. Average times that by four. Four, so that's 60. 60, that's 124. So that's 560 a month in gas, I would say. No. 124. Yeah, 520, sorry, 520 in gas, 520, 560 in gas a month on top of the 12. So you're looking at 1720, 17, we'll just say 17, 1800 bucks a month just for gas and the monthly payment. Um, the gas comes at a company expense because it's a write off. So comp the company uses a write off, um, which is cool. So it's not too bad and then the next expense i would say is tires for this truck now granted i do drive a lot this is my second set of tires in the ownership i had it for two years almost two years it came with the bf goodriches on the truck now there weren't much tread on it so i ended up buying the 35 um nitto ridge grapplers for the truck they're kind of expensive i think i paid 1800 dollars for all four um, within the first two weeks, got a nail on the tire, whatever, you know what I mean? Discount tire has a warranty, you can pay for it, where they replace the tire and fix your flats. So always get the warranty for your tires through discount tire. Highly recommend, highly recommend. So $1,800 for those, boom, busted the those in maybe like a year, I want to say. And then I just bought... 
was it a year yeah about a year a little year and some change just bought brand new set of tires the bf goodriches i bought those uh, fun fact the tires that come on these raptors which is the the bf goodriches are specifically for this for raptor which is a cool fun fact i learned that when i bought the tires recently um so that was i think 1700 bucks now 1600 with the warranty and all that stuff and all the coverage for the tires that's my next expense um that's every what year every year every year and a half but again i drive a lot so right now i have almost eighty thousand miles on my truck i had it for almost two years so that's sixty thousand miles so you would say about 30 i drive about thirty thousand miles a year probably a little bit more if you break it down that way uh probably 30 35,000 miles a year i drive so this truck mainly has highway miles um it does have off-roading miles of course but it's not as much cruising around town whatever um but yeah so that's the next expense um so if we add up all the expenses so it's around we'll say 1800 dollars a month for your gas and your monthly payment for this truck and then also every year year and a half if you drive as much as i do it's about eighteen hundred dollars for tires um and then the next expense is any other things you add onto the truck so for me i added on these lp4s um so it's the lp4s themselves and then you have to buy special brackets for the hood because they're the a pillar lights that go on top of your hood so you have to buy the lights themselves the wiring it all comes in a bundle package and then you have to buy the brackets that attach it so it doesn't you don't have to screw into your hood um ended up coming around 1500 bucks installed um 1200 i think or 1100 for the actual lights themselves and the brackets and then 300 some bucks for labor so 1500 bucks we'll just round it to 1500 so it's not too bad but it can add up depending on what you add to the truck um other than that i also did put an exhaust that was 750 or 780 um, which was done by RPM Richards Performance Muffler. They also installed my LP4s for, for me as well. They're good old friends of my pops. They go way back and they know my family. So we always go back. <clears throat> and then the next thing of expense wise was my tint. I have limo tint on all my windows and have the eyebrow on my windshield. I do do roofing. So I am out in the sun all day. So when I come in my truck, this tent helps provide a somewhat of a barrier from the sun to myself. Um, also, I did have cancer uh, eight months ago, nine months ago. Um, I got diagnosed January 17th, remission in July 14th, 2023, this year, so a couple months ago. So it's kind of good I have this tent, helps me protect my skin. My skin's very sensitive, my body's sensitive. I'm um, still, you know, kind of getting back into things. So that's why I haven't really been on the roof as previous videos way before. But hopefully that will change sometime soon. So we just bid that repair right there where it came from. But we just covered kind of the expenses, the additional things I did to this truck and all that stuff. Um, and then what do I use my truck for? So I use my truck to sell, so I'm driving quite a bit, like right now. Um, I went from my house where I live in Vista, all the way to El Cajon, which was about, I think, 40 some miles. And then I went from El Cajon to Poway, which is about 20 some miles. Actually, I lied. Yeah, about 15, I think, I wanna say. And then I went from there in Poway to another one in Poway, which I think was like, six seven miles um and then from there i'm going back to vista which is i want to say i think another 15 miles 20 miles back home so i drive this thing a lot i would say i average about mm, maybe 500 miles a month it has to be more than that because it's, it's like 2,000, 2,500 a month. We'll say two to 3,000 miles a month is what I average on this truck. Um, so, you know, she definitely gets the work, work put into it. It's definitely not a truck that is treated very kindly. I do do the oil change and all that stuff on time. 
Um, so, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, I do put some loads behind the truck. I have some clips. I'll drop it in here for you guys so you can kind of check that out of what I put behind the truck. It is also a work truck, personal truck, off-road truck, and my whatever type of truck I needed to be the day that I needed to be that truck. And I know that didn't make very much sense, but hopefully catch my drift. Other than that, that's what I like about the truck. There's really no, you know, if it's your dream truck, you like it. Now, it does have some bad things about it. My cam phasers have been replaced three times. My fan has been replaced once. My fuel pump has been replaced once. Uh, tie rods have been replaced twice. Um, and what else? My electronic system, the brain, I think, of the truck is dodgy on and off sometimes it's whatever um, but other than that those are the only things that have gone on with my truck they have all been replaced for free of course because of that warranty that i bought so that's one thing i would just kind of be sure of when you do buy a truck again i will never buy another used truck because of that reason um it's just i'd rather have a truck now you don't know what what you're gonna get yourself into whether you buy a new or used truck now you buy a used truck like i did um i've always bought in brand new ones this is my first used one that i bought you don't know what the previous owner did to the truck um you don't know if they rode it hard if it was just a they used, they drove on the freeway or around town or they just beat the shit out of the truck off-roading and kind of drove it a lot but I don't think the owner before me did so you know I, I kind of got lucky in that sense but I also got unlucky in the sense that everything happened while I've had the truck so you know that's cool I guess um, in that sense where I got lucky that the previous owner didn't drive it as much um, but I sure as hell did and I find out I found out why some of the forms I did read saying watch out for these things because they certainly do happen. I didn't expect it to happen, but it certainly did. Um, will I buy another Ford Raptor? Most definitely. Um, will I buy a TRX? Definitely not. Um, I'm a Ford guy. I live, breathe a Ford. And I did buy a Nissan at one point. It was a good truck for the time that I had it. It's just the Nissan Titans get like nine to ten miles a gallon they are a v8 not the very not the be the best fuel economy truck the fuel economy i get on my truck right now 16.7 now i drove to the yosemite so that's why i'm getting 16.7 average before that before driving around town driving long distance 14 14.1 to 14.5 is the average of what i would get uh, around town going to work in time that's the average I would get so an average tank um, with that was like 484 miles till I was empty on a full tank 480 to 500 driving with this gas mileage it's like 550 to I think I want to say 580 miles full tank maybe almost 600 miles for full tank again it's 36 gallons so if you do the math you can kind of guess the average MPG I get but yeah, um, the interior is nice. Um, I like it. Steering wheel is perfect. Got some paddle shifters, which is pretty cool. My first truck with paddle shifters, um, which is awesome. I enjoy this truck. I enjoy it 100%. If I were to do the purchase all over again, I would most definitely do it. Um, but I would rather do a new one rather than a used one. But that is my opinion on this whole buying experience of my Ford Raptor. Now the next one I do get is going to be brand new. Um, the three colors that I would settle for or that I want are white, of course, the avalanche gray, and the code orange. I think those are the most colors that are eye appealing to myself. Um, and also, maybe the Zura gray that they kind of came out with more like a turquoise color to me, but dark turquoise i don't really like it but if i had to i would um but yeah other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video um stay tuned for the next truck talk i'm gonna try to go to the other jobs here pretty soon and get more of a roofing video going as best as i can um, i'm gonna go back to fishing get the fishing videos I'm gonna do it that way it's 
like a mixed bag with this channel. So eventually I will do more videos. It's gonna the main thing you see on this channel is fishing, truck, and roofing uh, videos. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Um, I will try and go record some trucks for you guys if you guys want to see it. Maybe at the Chevy dealership or Dodge. Um, I do live in California, so if you guys want to see California prices or if your prices are the same anywhere else, um, then yeah, just let me know. Um, I'll gladly ask. Never ask. All I can say is no. No means N O next opportunity. So figure it out that way. But you guys, hope you enjoy. Stay safe out there, stay blessed, and you know, just live life every day. You know, just be blessed to be alive, wake up every day, and that's about it. Alright guys, peace out, like, subscribe, follow the uh, Raptor page, G 